Hi, I'm Melody. Please like and subscribe. I was walking in the school hallway after I failed my chemistry exam for the fifth time in the 10th grade. And that's when I realized that the best thing I could do was look for a good husband and marry him after graduation. I had no future in college anyways. And when I was busy imagining myself as the wife of a handsome billionaire, I bumped into a boy I had never seen before. And in a heavy accent, he said, you have three weeks to fall in love with me. What? I was shocked, but he looked very serious. I tried to push him away, but he stopped me. It's only three weeks. And I know you very well, Melody. You like taking risks. Agree to this, and I promise you, you will have the best time of your life. I stared at him and started talking, but I tripped over something and was about to fall when he caught me just in time. Easy there, baby girl. What did he just call me? I pushed him away and fell on my butt really hard. Don't touch me. And where are you from? Italy. Italian guys are so attractive, but you look ugly to me. Of course I was lying. He was really cute. And so what? You made a bet with your Italian friends before coming to the States that you will make an American girl fall in love with you in the first three weeks? Uh, kinda, but the bet was with my brothers. It was actually for five weeks. But when I saw you and knew you were miserable and ugly, I chose you and told my brothers, nah, I only need the three weeks to make this girl fall head over heels in love with me. Wow, who did he think he was? Did you just call me ugly? Mm, yeah, but uh, people must tell you that uh, all the time, right? Ugh, I ignored him and walked away. But he followed me and started begging. He told me he knew about my sick dad and that I lost my mom years ago. He offered to pay me $10,000 if I agreed to spend three weeks at school with him so his brothers could see us together. And what did I have to lose? I already failed two exams. Are you gonna buy me food? A lot of food. Deal. And just like that, I became his fake girlfriend. His name was Leonardo and he was super rich. And in the first two hours of our fake relationship, he got me five Gucci bags. If I have to be a scene with you, you should change your cheap, ugly clothes. These are your size. And your favorite color, black. How did you know about my favorite color? Eh, hey, you mentioned that in an Insta post, uh, March 2018, and you said, From now on, I will only wear black. Yeah, it's the day my mom passed away, and I was just sad. Oh, uh, I'm really sorry. Please, uh, forgive me. I saw this as a chance to make him feel guilty, so I said, I don't know if I can forgive you. That might take a while. I saw a worried look on his face. Perfect. I excused myself to go to the bathroom, to do my happy dance first, and then try on all these amazing dresses. When I left the bathroom, Leonardo looked really impressed, and so did everyone else. I saw the look on every girl's face who made fun of me and my clothes, and to tease them more, I put my arm around Leonardo's. You're amazing, amor mio. In your face, witches. The next few days were heaven. I got the latest iPhone, expensive shoes and clothes, amazing makeup, and the best perfumes. Now, me and Leonardo were inseparable and everyone envied me. It felt amazing. Until one evening, I was studying for a stupid poetry exam when I felt hungry. I texted Leonardo and asked him to bring me some Italian food. A few minutes later, someone knocked on the door. It was a good-looking guy around my age. Leonardo sent you? Uh, no English. No English, madam. Just then, Dad asked me who I was talking to, and I said, Some really handsome delivery boy. And too bad he doesn't understand English. And too dumb for a really hot boy. At least I'm not too dumb to think that Shakespeare is two verbs. You even turned it into the past tense, shook speared. How did you even come up with that? Hey, it's a confusing name. Poetry is hard. Oh, wait, didn't you say you didn't speak English? Well, your jerk boyfriend, who is also my brother, asked me not to talk to you. He's afraid that you would fall in love with me. Oh, wow, what's up with this family? But I decided to let it go and took the bags of food from him and before closing the door, I said, thanketh thee. I loveth thee. You just said, I love you. Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. This was so awkward, I just burst into tears. Can you please tutor me? Teach me something, man. I, I don't want to fail this exam. My dad will kill me. Okay, okay. I'm going to help you, not because I care or anything. It's because I want to tease my brother. 
and spend some time with you to piss him off. You, you guys are so honest. It runs in our blood. And he pushed me and got inside. His name was Diego and he was such a smart guy. He tutored me for five hours. And the next day, I failed the exam. But who cares? I was the fake girlfriend of a wealthy boy. During lunch, Leonardo got me a cute bracelet with our letters carved on it. He was really into this bet. But suddenly he got serious. Don't you ever talk to Diego again. Do you hear me? Or what? Are you for real? You're not the boss of me. This relationship is all fake. I said, do not talk to him again. Who did he think he was talking to me like that? Just then I spotted Diego. So I pushed Leonardo aside and I went to sit with him. I even faked crying over the poetry exam and hugged Diego so tight. He hugged me back. Later that day, I felt really sleepy during the boring lesson and put my head on the desk to take a nap. But someone started throwing paper balls at me. It was Leonardo standing outside the window. What are you doing here? Leave before the teacher sees you. Come with me now. I won't leave until you come with me. He was crazy. I didn't want the teacher to notice anything, so I just jumped out the window. I fell into Leonardo's arms and his face was really close to mine. I could see how amazing his brown eyes were. I also noticed a scar next to his eyebrow. That's a cute scar. But suddenly, Leonardo let me go and I fell on the ground. Ouch! Follow me. I followed him into the parking lot and there I found a fancy carriage with two white horses. In what age do you live? But just then, two girls pulled me into the carriage and put makeup and a cute Disney princess dress on me. And then Leonardo joined me. We reached a beautiful meadow filled with wildflowers. We had an amazing dinner. And I said, why are you doing this? We both know it's fake. I don't know. I just felt like it. And then he held my hand and looked straight into my eyes. And he got closer. But just then my phone rang and I looked at it nervously. Is that the him? What does he want? Um, it's, uh, <clears throat> uh, we agreed that he would tutor me tonight. I have a chemistry exam tomorrow. That's not going to happen. Oh, I'm sorry. I already texted him and sent him my location to pick me up. And a while later, Diego arrived, and he was holding a pretty bracelet in his hand. He handed it to me in front of Leonardo. Every charm has a different chemical element with its symbol to help you remember them better. <laughs> you mean help me cheat better? Man, you're the best! I high-fived him and left him saying bye to Leonardo. That night, I studied with Diego for three hours, and to my surprise, I was finally able to understand some things in chemistry. I know it was my sixth attempt to succeed, but still. I got up to do my happy dance, and I don't know what happened, but I accidentally poured some soda on his t-shirt. I apologized immediately and started using wipes to clean up his shirt. Oh god, I'm such a dummy. I'm sorry. He held my hand, and I could feel his warm breath on my face. God, he was irresistible. You're really pretty, Melody. We looked at each other for a moment, and he got closer to kiss me. But I stopped him. I can't do this. I'm... I'm with Leonardo now. But it's all fake, Melody. I know, but I think, um, he's not that bad, and... Oh my god. You really think he likes you? How can you be this stupid? He got up and left. Now, I was really confused. Whom did I really like? Was it Leonardo or Diego? Next day, when I arrived at school, I saw Diego and waved at him, but he ignored me. I walked toward him, but Leonardo showed up and put his arm around my neck. I believe your feet hurt really bad after last night. Why are you saying that? Because you walked into every single dream I had last night, Caramalina. Ugh, so lame. But just then, he gave me my favorite chocolate and said, I'm not as smart as Diego, and I can't help it to you. But I can give you chocolate. It will help you remember things better. I thanked him and left. I spent the few coming days with Leonardo because Diego was ignoring me. And one day, Diego didn't come to school, and I got worried because he never missed school. I asked Leonardo about him, but he got all angry and didn't want to answer. But I insisted, and he told me that Diego wasn't feeling well and was taken to the hospital last night. Why are you looking at me like that? Go, go, go see your Prince Charming. He needs you. I left the school and ran to see Diego. I saw him sitting on his bed. He was surprised when he saw me. Diego, before you say anything, I'm sorry about everything. I didn't realize how much you mean to me until we stopped talking. I really miss you, and I was thinking maybe we should go out. But just then a girl showed up and held Diego's hand. 
Oh my god! What are the chances that this ugly redhead is your sister? Zero. She is... Uh, my girlfriend. What the freaking flamingo? I wish the ground would open up and swallow me. Melody, listen. No, it's okay. I just ran out of there crying. Why did God make me so dumb? I didn't go to school for the next two days, although I finally passed the chemistry exam, but I was too sad. But then I remembered. I'd agreed with Leonardo three weeks ago that I'd let him record a fake video of me begging him not to leave me, to show it as proof to his brothers that he won the bet. So I went to school and told him I was ready. For what? For the video. You won the bet, remember? No, I didn't win the bet. Diego did. I didn't make you fall in love with me. Diego did. I didn't break your heart. Diego did. Wait, are you saying that Diego was involved in this? He also wanted me to fall in love with him? Wasn't that the too obvious, Melody? Can't you just uh, look around you and see who really cared about you? Oh, stop with your lies! Stop! I don't want to hear anything from you! Good job playing with my heart! Oh, don't be the victim now. You just assumed that Diego really liked you and you ditched me so many times to go with him. And you didn't even care about how that made me feel. Aw, poor boy. He looks sad. Sorry to interrupt you guys, but I really need my chemical elements bracelet back. Since the bet is over now and I won, you should give it back to me. It even helped you to finally pass that exam. God, you're so dumb. I got really mad at him and I slapped him hard in the face. And then I got the bracelet off and threw it on the floor. Diego got furious and approached me. What did you do, you stupid girl? Don't talk to her like that, you jerk. Or what? What will you do to defend your little princess other than crying next to her? And he pushed Leonardo away. But Leonardo punched him and he fell on the ground. Leonardo wanted to hurt him even more, but I stopped him. Stop it! Enough with all this drama! Yeah, speaking of drama, I just sent you something about your Romeo. And he got up and left. The video showed when I left Leonardo to visit Diego in the hospital that day. Leonardo took out a ring box and looked at it with teary eyes. But then he got mad and threw it on the ground. Then he sat on the floor and put his hands around his head. He looked really sad. Is this real? Do you like me? I love you, Melody. You're amazing and funny and smart. And I understand that you don't love me back. So you don't have to feel sorry for me. You can leave me. I will be okay, I guess. Or I can give you another three weeks to make me fall in love with you. Really? That's amazing. Shall we uh, start with a ring? I think we can start with a kiss. You're amazing, cutie cupcake. Wait, my mom used to call me that. I know. Would you mind me uh, calling you that? <laughs> You're amazing, Leonardo. I was too blind to not see it. Can you please kiss me now? I would love to.